Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the status of my weight loss, how things are going. I know in the beginning or middle of January, whenever I updated you guys, I said I was more focused on getting back on the wagon, getting back on track with my nutrition and my activity levels, um, and just really trying to actually lose this baby weight. Um, for those of you who are new here, Thank you so much for joining me, first of all. But second of all, uh, you may not know that I actually had weight loss surgery back in 2015. Um, I ended up losing quite a bit of weight, and then I got pregnant at the end of 2016 and ended up gaining a lot of it back. Um, so I'm right now trying really hard to, um, I can't say trying really hard, I'm trying to get some of that baby weight off and to get back to where I was um, when I was at my lowest, which was like 195 I think was the lowest number that I ever saw. So um, what I'm trying to do is just be more conscious of what I'm eating, um, really track my protein levels, my carb levels, the sugar I'm trying to stay away from, um, and I feel like it's kind of gone better in some months and some weeks obviously it's kind of just life it's gonna happen um so I, I'm definitely trying to get to where I need to be but it's not as easy or it's not as clean as it should be for me so um it's still you know a work in progress I'm still having to kind of fight with my own inner demons every single day to get myself back to where I need to be um when I had my son back in September I ended up getting all the way up to 275 um and then when i showed what i showed when i filmed the video la i think it was in january i was at 249 i think um when i weighed in the beginning of february i was at 241 and then the beginning of march now i'm at 243 so i'm still you know, I'm not losing. I'm still having a really tough time. Um, January was like super, I did so well. I feel like I ate very clean. I focused on my protein. I tracked all my, you know, my um, macros and my fitness pal. I was very conscious of, I wore my Fitbit. And I just was very, uh, very, I was just very on point, I feel like, with my nutrition and everything that I needed to be. And then January, February happened um, and I just kind of slacked off a bit. Um, I ate more carbs than I should be eating and had, you know, started incorporating sweets again back into my diet, which is when, you know, shit kind of hits the fan for me. So, um, so, um, I know for a fact, I, uh, just started taking vitamins again. I've been so bad with vitamins, like literally since day one of having surgery, but I do know that they're super vital and, you know, being successful so i have a tracker going in my planner to see you know how many days i'm actually being good and taking my vitamins um i'm sucking so hardcore at my water i think that is like the biggest thing for me right now and the biggest area like i'm just disappointed in myself like i know that i need to get it in i do but i know that i need to get my water in every single day and every single day i don't do it. And now it's to the point where I feel super dehydrated. My ankles are swelling. And when my ankles swell, I know that I'm not getting enough fluids in my body. I'm drinking coffee in the morning, but then I'll have a Diet Coke. And then I'll have um, a coffee again in the afternoon. And I'm just not being good about getting the amount of water in my body that I need to. And like I said, as soon as my ankles start swelling, I know that it's kind of, it's getting bad. So that's something that I'm really, really having to focus on. I have another tracker going in my planner uh, to see how many days I actually hit my, you know, my water goals. But uh, I just, I'm really frustrated with myself because I know the importance. I know how, you know, not just obviously it's important for my body and for my like well-being and for me to live but like when i get to the point of seeing my ankle swell i feel like it's so i just hate that i don't like my i don't like the look of like having cankles on my legs it doesn't it doesn't look good so when it gets to that i'm like how did you let yourself go like why are you doing this it's so easy you pick up a freaking glass of water and you drink it so that's like I'm I'm really disappointed in myself with that because I feel like it's such an easy simple fix and I feel like every day I'm like get your water get your water and then I'm just like nah I'm good I'm like you're not good you're not you're the opposite of good okay so um that's where my kind of struggle is coming into right now um I'm I'm doing good with like my bathroom workouts guys I'm like actually um have been doing a lot of squats I've been doing them in the bathroom I've been doing them at night I feel like the booty's getting a little bit of a lift I don't know maybe that's all in my brain but that's what I'm hoping for um and I'm really I'm really neat like I have the itch to go to the gym so I think I'm gonna try and sneak out of the house tonight and maybe tomorrow to go to the gym um I just really 
I, I want to be active. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want that like itch or desire to, to fl be fleeting. Is that a thing? I don't want to let that go. I don't want that just to like ignore that and, and not actually do anything about it because I feel like I'm just going to be like, ah, forget it. You know, who needs to be active anyways? So, um, yeah, I'm still struggling. I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be. I would really like to get in much better shape for the summer. And um, I'm kind of feeling like it's crunch time. Like it's March already, people. M like the summer is in like three months. I got to get my shit together. So um, that's where I stand. Nothing super great to report on. Just, you know, some disappointments in myself personally. I did do kind of like a January... I did a full body shot of myself in January and then one just recently a couple days ago and I could actually see quite a bit of a difference. Um, I was initially like posted on Instagram and I was like, oh, you know, it's not much of a difference. But then people were like, girl, that's a big difference. So I, you know, went back and looked at it and I was like, you know what, you can actually see areas where my body is slimming out, which I'm super grateful for. I just, you know, I don't actually see that myself. Uh, it's not until people are like, dude, shut up, look at it. And like take it for what it is so even though I haven't lost a ton of weight from well from that picture I would think I was at the 249 or 250 so I don't know um, so it is you know a good amount of weight but I don't think I see the physical changes in my body obviously they're so small and you see yourself every day so it's nice to have those side by sides I'm really glad that I've done that so if I can like give any advice not any advice but if I can give a piece of advice to somebody who's starting out on this journey it's to take your measurements take before and after photos take progress shots because when you're getting frustrated with yourself when you're getting down because you're in a stall or you're not losing weight and you're or you gain some weight look at the before and after or your progress pictures the before and now the during picture and really praise yourself for how far you've come because it this is not an easy task this is not an easy journey but it's something that I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of my life so I have to start looking for the silver lining I have to start looking for the positive and the beautiful things throughout this journey and focusing on that because this is a lifelong journey but I still need to be able to enjoy my life I still need to be in, be able to enjoy my day-to-day -day and not think you know oh my god my gut is so big that needs to not be my focus so I'm really trying to be mindful of how much negativity I'm letting come into my brain right now um, I really need to start focusing on the positive and I think not just with this but like in life in general I think it's so easy for me to just go and really harp on the negativity and the negative things and the things that I don't like about myself or things that I feel like I've done wrong you know I like play over situations and I'm like why did you say that and it's like five days later I'm like just harping over it over and over again in my brain and I just don't think that that's healthy for my mentality for my you know my myself my emotional status I just I feel like I need to be my biggest cheerleader and so that's what I'm you know choosing to work on alongside with trying to better myself in these you know getting my water and my vitamins and being more active and things like that so um I will let you guys know I'm hoping to do these monthly but it's kind of been a challenge to find the time to film videos where I can just like sit down and talk um so it was really great to be able to let you guys know what's going on I hope you guys are doing well I know the first of the year is like when everybody kind of gets a kick in the ass to get things going so if you're still at it great job that's amazing or if you're just starting up now let me know how it's going I, like I said I love for this to be a family and a support system and I love the comments and the support that you guys give me here and on Instagram just everywhere you know that we are connected you guys have been such a huge support system for me and literally like I said before telling me like give yourself some credit you're doing a great job I really need that and I appreciate you guys for being my my support system for having my back for being my backup for being like my ride or dies and just saying like shut up and recognize what you're doing so thank you guys so much for being there for me i appreciate it and i would love to be there for you guys so um let me know how it's going down below and um yeah i don't know <laughs> that's it actually i wanted to see i wanted to throw a name out there for the channel because i'm trying to figure out like a change a name change uh instead of caitlin's vsg journey since i'm just kind of just trying to do this channel more about my life instead of just the specific vsg journey i was thinking of like creating caitlin or something like that i don't really know let me know what you guys think of that creating caitlin because i'm like on an ever an ever changing journey to create myself i don't forget it. um let me know and um we'll see what let me know what you guys think i guess sure um and like i said i hope you guys are doing really well if there's anything that i can do to support you on this journey let me know down below um and i just thank you thank you guys for being my my bitches 
If you guys are new here, again, thank you for watching and I hope that you stick around to follow this journey and let me know how you guys, if you guys are on a weight loss journey or if you're just kind of living life and it is what it is and you're trying to work on your positivity because I, I just, that to me is going to be an important change. I feel like it's going to be a life-changing change. So let me know down below, guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much again for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being my people. I love you. And I will see you guys later.